Oh. Dispatch. Be advised, we have a 1050. We have a vehicle well over here. We just route one. I hit one of our troopers. Hey guys, welcome back for some more LSPDFR style gameplay. And today we're going to be the Texas State Trooper Division, Texas DPS. I hope you guys are doing really well. I try to do a video with the Texas DPS about every couple of months or so. It's been about almost three months since I did the last one. And uh, we got a vehicle pack here that you guys are probably familiar with. It's by Ripple. Uh, fantastic uh, emergency lighting system. And the I do believe the skins are by Perkins. Uh, you can get that off the GTA Police Mod site. I'll be sure to link that down below. Uh, we got a Crown Vic right there. We got a Charger and we got a Tahoe. Now, we usually use a Charger for Texas DPS. I thought we'd switch up some things, uh, include a partner with us today, and then also just go out with a Tahoe today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go down and get a little bit of gas before we start out our patrol. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get down there and get a little bit of gas, and then we're going to start on today's patrol. We do have live police radio going from, I think it's around the San Antonio area, if I'm not mistaken. And decided to include that mainly because uh, there's really not a great police scanner that I can find that's strictly for Texas DPS. Okay, we're going to pop in the LTD gas station real fast. And uh, by the way, I do live in Texas, born and raised. And I pass these, uh, especially these style of vehicles, the Tahoes, every day on the highways. So I thought it's kind of cool to include this today. All right, we're going to go ahead and get uh, probably near the highway, and we'll probably take out some calls as well. But I'll, I'll link the uh, actual the uh, trooper skins as well, Highway Patrol Division. And this is probably one of the better ones that I've used, because the other one that I've used in the past was kind of more of a, a very, very light tan, and it just didn't suit our needs. As uh, Texas State Trooper has a little bit darker tan, if you will. And I have a lot of friends that are Texas State Troopers, so let's get on the freeway, guys. Okay, we're going to go right down here. We're going to get set up a little bit. We're going to be going Interstate 1. And I'll probably set up about right here. That's what I'm thinking. This is what usually the uh, Texas DPS does. They just kind of sit on the side of the highways. Uh, we are going to do something. I don't know what the Texas DPS actually does or not, to be honest. But you see the top of the, uh, the actual tile right there? Uh, those are considered like plate readers, if you will, and then also radar. So we're going to put that on. It may not be very less realistic, but, you know, it is a game, so kind of give me a little bit of a break. We're going to monitor traffic just a little bit. We'll probably take a call here in just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and notify dispatch. Three, John. Dispatch, be advised, we're going to be shooting a little bit of radar off, right off Interstate 1, going northbound. Copy that. Okay, we are set with dispatch, and we're going to see what uh, comes out of today's video. And right there, we got a reckless driver right there. You can kind of see how he's acting right there. We're going to keep an eye on him. He's over to my left. And let's get behind him here. Kind of block traffic a little bit. Yeah, I think he may be intoxicated. Let's kind of watch him for a sec. Yeah, he's all over the road. We're probably going to end up lighting him up. Yeah. That's enough right there. Okay, we're going to see if we can block traffic so nobody else gets hurt by this guy. Okay, that's a pretty decent pullover job, but let's get him pulled up a little bit more. Pull forward, man. Just in case I need to get another unit in here. Dispatch, show me on a 1011, uh, northbound Interstate 1. It's going to be a 2039. Got a uh, black colored Emperor pulled over here. Uh, occupied two times, stand by for 28. Dispatch requesting a 28. It's going to be on a black emperor. Occupied two times. 490 Paul Union 851. 5110. Check around 6474. Target is placed 490 Paul Union 851. Okay, so let's go out and talk to this guy. Doesn't look like there's a lot of vehicle flags 
Yeah, let me go ahead and get my flashlight here. Hello, Trooper Benzo, Texas uh, State Trooper. Hey, I'm Georgia Weaving all the road back there going northbound or State 1. Okay, do you have your license and registration insurance on this vehicle? ID. Nice and slow. Okay, thank you. Right, uh, thank so that you. seems to be an order. Hey, passenger over there. You have your ID as well. Can I get your ID? ID. Nice and slow. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right, y'all hang tight, okay? Or what's up? Our partner's going to keep an eye on him. Dispatch, show me 1011, northbound Interstate 1. So make sure red dispatch is registering that. There you go. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right, I do believe um, this is a gentleman driving right here. Yeah, he does have a concealed handgun license, never been arrested, and not on probation. Uh, let's see here. He is the vehicle owner. Okay, let's go ahead and get him out. This is kind of cool. We don't usually do a night patrol out here like this with Texas DPS. Yeah, I think we should just go into the night. Okay, sir. Well, your records come back clean as far as, um, you know, no warrants or anything like that. But I need you to do me a favor because I'm smelling alcohol coming from the vehicle, okay? All right. Can you go ahead and leave the vehicle? Step on up. All right. So do you have any medical conditions or anything like that that could be causing you to swerve all over the, the road back there? Okay. So can you do me a favor? Can you follow me? Uh, we're going to go back over here to the front of my vehicle. You know, I think I may have takedown lights on this particular tile. I'm going to have to look at that. It looks like you're having trouble walking there, sir. Right, stay right there, okay? I have a partner to keep an eye on him. I think I have takedown lights. just forgot to turn those on. Let's see if I do. Oh yeah, nice. It's pretty bright. I think what we're gonna do is, um, we're probably gonna end up doing a field sobriety test on him because he just looks like he's really disoriented. disoriented. Okay, sir, well, um, my belief is that you're under the influence. Uh, do you want to uh, perform a field sobriety test in the field here? See if you're capable of driving? Yeah. Okay, so we may have a little bit of trouble doing this particular test because it's on kind of uneven ground and and then also, uh, you know, people are uh, going a little bit slow through here or you know, not slow enough, I should say. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a uh, horizontal gaze, sir. Make sure you keep your head straight. So go ahead and look at the end of this pen right here. Uh -oh. Stop, man, stop. Stay right there. Partner's on point. Dispatch, we have a taser deployed out here in North Carolina, Interstate 1. Stand by. Oh, what happened to him? <laughs> he just disappeared. Okay, that's legit. That's legit. Nice. Hey, step on out, man. Hey, your friend there just pulled an alakadabra on us. <laughs> okay, I think we're okay. We got that. Leave. Yeah, that's the thing is when you record LSPD far videos like this gameplay, you just gotta you just have to expect that you're gonna get just crap gameplay sometimes, you know. So I'm just gonna leave that in. I can edit it out. All right, once you're ready, again, just wanna make sure nothing's close to the game. Giovanni Richie. Okay. All right. Well, have you been drinking tonight? Let me ask you a question. You been drinking tonight? It says nah. Any drugs or anything like that? Medications? So I never used drugs in my life. All right, well, you can send to a uh, breathalyzer at least. Yeah. Okay, this uh, deputy here is going to be... Sorry, trooper. Sorry, my bad. Trooper here is going to be doing a breathalyzer on you. I uh, usually don't have them disappear like that. It's very strange. That usually never happens. All right, it says unable to provide the valid breath sample. So basically, he's refusing to give it. It looked like he was doing it, but he's really not. So... All right, well, I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to be towing this car, okay? So you want me to call in an Uber ride for you or something? Hmm? Uber? Or a taxi? You want a taxi? All right. 
Alright, we're gonna call in a taxi for this guy. He didn't really do anything wrong. Alright, well, I'm gonna be towing this car so your friend can get it whenever he responds or something. Dispatch requesting 51, Black Emperor, Westbound Interstate 1, Mount Marker 3. Here we go. I wish it didn't do that. It would have been, it would have been kind of cool gameplay. Continue with that call. Okay, so there's the uh, traffic advisory up there. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is what it looks like with traffic advisories and a little bit of lights. It's kind of cool. And then there's full stage three lights right there. Kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and get set up again. Uh, we may take out a call as well. It's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and set that. Yeah, about right here is good. Let's go ahead and black out. Looks kind of cooler that way. I know a lot of Texas state troopers black out when they go out on patrol like this. I think after this guy, he's got a little illegal underglow. Okay, you can see a little bit of illegal underglow in this guy, so we're gonna be pulling him over. We'll wait till we get to a good, safe area, and then we'll light him up. Citizens reporting a suspicious vehicle in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Okay. Well, they're wanting to go to this. Okay. Dispatch responding code 2. 10 four, 3 John. Okay, I was going to pull over that guy for code two. under glow, but we're going to flip back around. Uh, let's go to find our lights here because it's pretty deadly out here. Okay, we're going to be going to code 2. Uh, we're going to downgrade a little bit. No reason to go, you know, lights the whole way. These lights are pretty epic though, right? Yeah, I'm using a uh, plug-in called A Better Radiance, and then also Increased Environmental Lighting. You can get that off my LSP Far Links page down below in the description, in case you're wondering. Alright, let's go ahead and exit off here. Of course, we got to get behind the slowest person on earth. Going out to a suspicious vehicle. Come on, man. We're going five miles an hour. Okay, let's flip on our lights. Let's kind of get through this. Let's get on Joshua here. Actually, we're on 68. About to get on Joshua, but never mind. We're going to stay on 68. Okay, let's Just cut the green. And I think it's going to be out over to the left, back over there. So about right here, we're going to take a left. It's in the street right here. Yeah, right here. And we are in a Tahoe, so it's kind of cool. Where we kind of go out here at night. And someone reported a suspicious vehicle, so let's take a look. And I think it's going to be run up that hill there. It's kind of strange. Maybe the owner of the property or something called? See, is that right there? Maybe somebody lives there. Maybe further up, I think. We don't have a description of the vehicle yet, so they're saying it's up here. Let's see if we can find it. Right about in here. Okay, we're looking for a suspicious vehicle. 
Let's turn on our takedown so we can see better. Dispatch, show me on scene uh, near Sonora Road. Uh, 0238. Okay, we're looking for a suspicious vehicle. These um, call outs like this are kind of cool because they can turn out so many different ways. I wish I had a description of the vehicle. It's kind of silly that I don't. Let's get back on the road here. Okay, let's circle back around. I think it may have been that black truck is what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh wait, there's a blue. Okay, that's probably right there. Oh, blue Oracle, okay. For some reason in my peripheral, I thought it said blue circle for some reason. <laughs> Okay. Three, John. This is dispatch. Three, John, be advised, we're going to be out here just right near Sonora Road 0316, uh, right near the uh, radio tower. Got a blue colored Oracle standby for a 28. 10 4, copy. Let's see if I can see that plate number from here. Dispatch requesting 28. Blue Oracle occupied appears to be one time. Uh, two one Robert Paul Charles one zero two. Target license plate two one Robert Paul Charles hmm. one zero two. A warrant issued. Approach with caution. Okay, dispatch sent us some information to our CAD, so let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, actually, we don't have his identification yet, so let's go ahead and call in some backup here. Dispatch requesting code 2 backup uh, near Snore Road. Got some blue color Oracle pulled over here. Just to request one additional 32. Backup required in Grande Sonora Desert. Okay, I'm going to be getting ready just in case. Hopefully, my partner's on point just in case. But the uh, owner of this vehicle has a outstanding warrant, Got it. and I apologize if some of my units come in with uh, boots on. That's just the way that these models are. Sometimes they come in with boots, sometimes they don't. Okay, let's go ahead and approach. Let's make sure he's done all right. I'm gonna go ahead and just equip my handgun just in case. Uh, we got an unconscious male. Hello. I'm gonna knock on the window here. We are code four. Okay, he's not responsive. I'm gonna knock on the window one more time. That scared the shit out of you. <laughs> okay, so he's not, he won't come out. So unfortunately with this game, guys, I have to pull him out a little rough. I apologize, it's just the way that this game is. So let's go ahead and uh, try to beat him out. That's the only way to get him out of there, I hate that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a sternum rub, see if he's responsive or not. No, he's not responsive. Okay, let's go ahead and call in. Uh, rescue ambulance. Dispatch requesting RA out here for that blue Oracle near Snow Road. It's going to be a 426 now. Ambulance. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. I'm going to search him real fast. Let's see if he has anything on him. Okay, he had a grenade on him. Small bottle of liquid containing, or small bottle containing a clear liquid. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and render some aid here. Well, actually, rescue ambulance is right here. Okay, we're going to hold off on that for a second. Normally, I would have shut down CPR or something like that. We'll see if they can get him up. Search his vehicle, see if there's anything in here that's worth mentioning. Oh, am I not searching the vehicle anymore? I think I just searched him again. Let me go to the other side. Sometimes if you're too close to the pet, it'll just search the pet again. Okay, baggy of unmarked capsules, several cans of spray paint. Damn! Let's do what we can do. I don't know if he may have committed suicide or not. 
No, nope, they're going to be doing CPR on him. Definitely, sir. Uh, dispatch, be advised, uh, we do have RA on scene. Uh, they're going to be finishing CPR. CPR in progress. Uh, 0508. They didn't make it. Uh, dispatch to advise the uh, medics can't get him up. We're going to be uh, go ahead and calling in a supervisor and then calling in a uh, crime scene investigation. 10 4, copy that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, call in a supervisor out here. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. Dispatch requesting CSI. Roger, I'm here to Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. Okay, here comes my supervisor. Uh, let me pull it up real fast so I can tell him what's going on. Uh, this is Chris Jackson. He's got a murder of a police officer warrant. Interesting. Hello, sir. Okay, so we came to a call with a suspicious vehicle parked out here near Snow Road near the radio tower. And uh, this gentleman here was found non-responsive. Uh, he did have a warrant for his arrest for murder of a police officer. And uh, we found him and he was non-responsive. Called rescue ambulance out here. They were unsuccessful getting him up. And so now we got CSI on scene. And that's about all that I have right now. He did have some possible legal substances on him. I'm going to actually Don't touch for that. Buddy. And I may or may not be able to test for it now since he's technically not on scene anymore. <laughs> Let me try. Oh man, that kind of sucks. Let me try. I don't think I'm going to be able to, guys. Even though he's, his body's right there. Oh, I could do the unmarked pills. Oh, let's check it for Molly's real fast before he leaves. Alright, we'll check for PCP. Just to make sure. Yeah, it's PCP. Okay, it may have been just an overdose or something. Alright, so, so he had PCP on his person and then he got some like several bottles of an empty spray paint cans not like a big deal on that but you anyway, know that's about it all right thanks for coming out thank you appreciate it okay let's go ahead and have this vehicle towed and we're going to get back on patrol okay dispatch requesting 51 for that blue oracle right near the radio tower it's in the road Okay, we're going to let people clear out and uh, let's get back on the highway area. Okay, we are stationed here, guys. We're right off uh, US Route 1, up on our radar and everything. So this should be kind of cool. We'll wait till we get a good license hit. Oh boy. Resisting arrest on a Great Ocean Highway. Shot fired. All units respond. Code 99. Dispatch responding. Code 3. Test for copy. 3, John. Okay, we got a uh, vehicle pursuit put on down here. And uh, don't know any details yet except there's shots have been fired. We've got some Code 3 backup. Okay, let's head on down. Uh, it's going to be on a black bison, I think. A uh, black bobcat. XL. Yeah, bobcat XL. Dispatch, show me in an active 1080. Uh, we're going. Uh, uh, we just turned into North Plato Boulevard behind the gas station. It's going to be a black bobcat. Oh. Dispatch, we advise we have a 1050, we have a vehicle well over here, US Route 1, I hit one of our troopers. Push. Drop it. Drop it. Dispatch, shots fired, US Route 1, in front of the uh, gas station out here. Oh! Oh my god. Holy shit. Dispatch uh, suspects down uh, near US Route 1 at the uh, gas station out here. She's been run over by a semi. Oh my gosh. Attention all units. Officer down. Condition unknown. Near Lake 
Well, let's see here. Who is this guy? Oh gosh. Dispatch requesting, alright. Okay, let's block this off. This is crazy. This is nuts. I didn't see where that guy came from. Sorry. Okay, dispatch be advised. Um, one of the officers is actually okay. We bought that 1050 vehicle rollover. Uh, he's going to need some medical attention out of here. Here's route one. We've got both lanes uh, eastbound and westbound blocked off. And RA is on scene. Yeah, she wasn't going to survive that. Oh, do y'all want to see a replay of that? Y'all are sick. Why did sick we even show up? Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. No, I'm sorry. Alright, so we can't uh, do anything off this lady. She was shot and ran over by a semi. Cannot, cannot make this stuff up. Alright, so this is uh, her name here. It's Rihanna Cole. Dispatch, can I get a 27 on a Rihanna Cole? 82399 place. That's going to be the deceased suspect on her. Involving that 1080. Alright, she didn't have any kind of. She had some tablets or something, capsules, whatever. But uh, that guy hit her, just kept on going. I couldn't stop him enough. Alright, let's block all this down. Uh, we'll go over here and block it out. Uh, we all listen to live police radio from San Antonio, Texas, guys. They were looking for a suspect earlier. I'm not sure if they found him or not. I'm not sure what he was involved in, to be honest. Because I came in to the video, they were already looking for him. Alright. Requesting a CSI. Let's go check the vehicle. I'm not sure where this guy came from. I have to go back and watch my own video. I think he, she may have hit him too. I don't really know. Let's see if I can find anything important in here. Kitchen knife, baseball bat. I don't know why she was running. Let's see if I can get my corner model in here. If I can just get him in here with a close so I can shut this down again. Let's see, are y'all going to come through? Of course not. Um, yeah, there goes. Okay, good. Shut it down. Alright, so they're going to be taking pictures of that body. Let's get our supervisor back out here. Backup required in, uh, Bay. Okay, I'm not sure what vehicle this is from. This is kind of crazy. I think he may have gotten out and just got ran over or something. I think that's where this guy came from, right here. But uh, he's he's dead because the uh, rescue ambulance left. Okay, here comes my supervisor again. Okay, he's got to pay for that. He's got to pay for that damage. He's gonna come out? Maybe not. He wants to park somewhere. Okay, whatever. I don't know why he just doesn't get out. You know what I'm saying? I need to move this place back. Okay. I think the reason that siren sounds so pathetic is because it's non it's a non EOS bike. Come on man. Jesus Christ. Go man. Don't run over my officers. Um, oops. Okay, I was going to talk to my supervisor, but he's too busy. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Alright, so I guess uh, this thing's kind of cleaned up. Let's go ahead and call in a 51. Actually, I think I dismissed my supervisor by accident. 
Dispatch request 51 for that vehicle rollover. It's gonna be used for our one pickup yard drive. Dispatch requesting uh, 28. It's a black Bobcat, 88 Ida John Paul, 037. Uh, let's see what this uh, showed here in case it's stolen or something. Requesting a plate check. Let's do it that way. Okay, it's going to get towed away, and uh, that's about it. There it goes. Partner lost his hat. I don't know how that happened either. Probably the chase, whatever. I'm not sure. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you watching the Texas DPS episode. It was fun to film and edit and make for you guys. And I hope you go, guys know how much work goes into these editing of these videos. It's uh, not a piece of cake all the time uh, to make it flow halfway smooth. Uh, sometimes it takes me hours and hours to edit these things. So I really appreciate you watching and thumbing the video up and subscribing if you're new. And thank you to the patrons and the members. You guys are awesome. We'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe.